Rated T for teen. I'm Dan Cuso. One day cards fell from the sky, so we did what any other kid would do, and not question it, or where they came from, or if they were dangerous and instead go on social media and make a game out of them. Even though that they were clearly meant for an existing game. We called it Bakugan, and shortly after we made the game, the power of the cards was revealed. Each one contained a plastic marble that turned into a battling beast when thrown. Naturally, we didn't question this or were afraid in the slightest. I mean, it's not like these are actual monsters or anything, right? So together with my friends, Total Brat, Blonde Cyrus Truesdale, some hot Middle Eastern chick, Human Falco Lombardi, and Alice, who doesn't actually have a Bakugan or plays the game, we are the Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I mean, it's not like anyone else who plays this game gets called this, even though that's literally what they are. Draco, I choose you! Aw, oh, real original! Oh, screw you, Sam, from accounting! Time to choose which of these three confusingly similar colored marbles I should use. I'll take the red and orange one, red and orange one, and red and orange one. Daniel, your lunch is ready! Not now, Mom, I'm busy. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Late means you're not so great! So we gonna battle or not? Not with me, with him! It's a good thing that this show is specifically a card game anime, so there's no way that we could possibly imply that we're going to have an actual street fight. Oh, but can't we go just for a bit of fun? By the way, I'm a master of Subterra space. I have somehow never heard of this before, even though I helped invent the game and have already been established to personally know Julie. How am I supposed to battle against a beast that doesn't exist? Did you fall on your head as a baby or something? Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Oh hey sweetie, I was just practicing my contortionism for you know what? Ah, oh, Dan's lunch. We cross field open! We'll see you like a co-coast! No! Zoractress, I choose you! Monsters? Real monsters? Did you fall on your head as a baby or something? Tyrannus, the tremendous Pokemon, can likes to eat stupid brawlers for breakfast. No other data is available. Stupid Pokedex, Terra means Earth and its G power is 270, so I at least know what kind of beast I'm dealing with. That's real useful. When you don't even know what key turns or ability cards it can use. Again, Snoid, I choose you! You have the IQ of a jelly filled donut. Again, Snoid, the snake part of God will most likely be overpowered by a shooter's key card. Your skills of this game is as sharp as the people behind YouTube. Yeah, that'll show you, Bakudax. You activate my truck card. I mean, gate card. Open it. Zoractress has been powered up by the evil that is ancient Egypt. Also, I told you so. Did you just throw a can of bug spray at me? You fell faster than a deck of cards in a tornado. That seems kind of specific. Also, wouldn't a house of cards fall faster? Who cares? Terror Claw, I choose you! You think you're pretty good, huh? Well, you better buckle up, Suji, because... Well? You're going down! <coughs> Bernagoonimon, I choose you! <coughs> Gay card, open! I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Triceraton, I choose you! Why am I yelling? Ability activate! This Triceraton's on fire! So if I have my facts straight, I just need to beat you one more time. Did you forget that I have the gate card advantage? Zoractress, I choose you! Bertagoonimon, I choose you! Now to play my ability card, Redundant Cutter! 
Nice, but that's no match for this. New take hold counter ability activate. Braveheart! It's such a deep and emotional song. Dan's lunch, I've been waiting all day for that. Wow, bro, you suck. I can't, yeah! I'm not even in the show yet.